Unfortunately, I've lost all sense oh, of direction. There's more of the goop. Direction here. The goop don't like me though. Probably it's something on the other side of this. Looks like we got another one of these ball puzzles. Um. What was that? Oh, that's powering the force field, or yes. Yeah, it looks like it. Don't see anything else to bang it into? So. Talk, 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 talk. Wait, is this the area that we need to go to? I can find out. Oh. It's another one of these. Right, we need to power it, don't we? Didn't really mean for that to happen, but it happened. Uh... Looks like there's something on the other side of this. And more corruption. Yeah, very corrupted over on that side. Very big zone. Oh. Uh, oh. Ugh. I guess we'll investigate the corruption. Oops. Ah! Whoa! What? Eh. Aha! Oh, a corrupted tree. Evil. Evil tree. The question is, how do you de- Oh, shoot. How do you de-evil a tree? Hmm. You can't pluck the fruit off, right? Unless we go back for... I bet we need a red cube. There's also a red tree up top. Oh, there is. Oh. Maybe... I think I get it. I probably don't. Oh. Hmm. Oh, an orange... Wait. That's yeah, the orange-yellow. Okay. I'm not entirely clear how this helps me. Hmm. There has to be something you can insert that into. There's the diagram. Doubt it's useful for that though. Yeah. Yeah, where where does this lead? Ah, because that was the edge of a powered light source, you know? Oh, what's that down to the right? So that's the red one. Yeah, what's there on that? See that line that goes directly to that? Yeah. I think we need to see where that line goes. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, so... I think I'm gonna write this off. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. What? Oh. Hi. Okay. So inevitably, we need to get a ball into this mess. Oh, but is that the activation point for the ball? Might right be, there? yeah. What does it even require? That's what I was going to check out. Oh, so that's where it can land, but is it oh, purple? Oh, so this requires the orange thing. That's the orange. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we'll need. It's by the tree. Oh, wait. Hold up. I didn't even notice. Oh, wait. Is I did know there tree? was another tree here. We actually needed this. Presumably. Or did we? Did that bust up the bridge from earlier? I think it did. Damn it. What's this thing do? Do we still need the bridge? Oh. Or, oh. Uh, well, what can you clean up around here? Oh, that's weird. So we can't see ourselves, but we can see the thing we're carrying. We can see the block. 
going on into infinity. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we can do this yet. Right. Uh, let's try to get the orange block into that first nub, and that will bring about the ball, hopefully. Yeah. I just wanted to take a peek at, at what this, all these are. Because this is something. Those are birds. They're in a cage. Oh, yeah. We remember which side the. Okay. Yellow tree's over there. Yeah, so that reset that. Small tragedy. Uh, I'm just gonna fly for a bit. <laughs> Oof. Oh, a green button. Oh. What does that activate? Oh, the ball. Okay, so that sends it down that way. Now you need to go that way? It doesn't set it back, which is good. Did that get the ball further down the track? Uh, oh, it's over there. You need to go opposite. Can you walk to the end and do that? Remember which way the ball needs to fall. Getting it. Okay. Ooh, nice. Doing tricks. That was some footwork. Okay, oh. so now we gotta get the orange open. Yeah, because the orange will let the ball through. Yeah, because that's just a gate. Uh, let's see. It's so time to do some falling. Pretty sure this is the orange tree, yeah? I think so. Uh, yeah, it is. Hopefully that won't ruin the ball. Nope. Uh, I mean, even if it does, once we get this in the correct position, we'll be okay. Then you'll be able to do it all over again. Okay. Time for tricks. Oh, yeah. Land. Land down there. Ah! I'm curious of... Okay, now you go that side. Ball falls. I have a really silly idea. Just... Where's the ball now? Right with me. Yep. Oh, so then can you really maneuver yourself to every corner? Speedrun tactics. <laughs> oh, why would you jump down there? Oh. Well then. I mean, I suppose it is a very, very long drop. So now it's there. Yeah, go there. Oof. I'm, I'm feeling really clever right now. I'm feeling super damn clever. <laughs> I think we've bypassed like half the puzzle here. You're almost there. Have you been making sure the ball's been following you? Yeah, you can hear it. Ah, I have my headphones off. Oh. Because it was getting a little hurty. Great! So you have the red laser. Yep. Seems to fix that. over there. So why don't you jump down and see what the other colors are. Hmm. 
There we go. I can absolutely see why somebody would uh, get into speedrunning this game. Oh. Oh. It's the, it's the cube again. Yeah. I know where this goes. Unfortunately, I need to go get another red tree cube. Yeah. Wait, are you too far away from it? Yeah, I think you can't. Interdasting. I get it. Okay. Uh, works. It's fine. So I can get far away from it uh, until I displace the nega, nega cube. And then we're good. Okay. Gotta grab you. Then we're gonna fall a bunch. I'm liking the music. Getting a little loud, but I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So, so now that we can makes go it on. tangible. Yeah, so either this is on a time limit, or I just can't get too far away from it. My bet is I can't get too far away from it. Because it causes the rain, and if I get too far, it's just like, ew. Insert that into the. Remember the darkened spot over yeah. here that was having issues? The one with the birds? Yeah. Or, ah, oh, the tree. The corrupted one. Oh, timer lights go. Uh, there we go. So, the corrupt block has a timer. Timer starts when you let go of the cube. That makes sense. Restoring the order of things. So yeah, it feels like we just completely skipped one or two puzzles there. I'm kind of okay with that. These are cool. I I really like these fractals. Mm -hmm. They're fun to look at. There was a game I played a couple months ago where the developers had actually asked me not to put out any more videos. And it kind of did the same like gravity warping stuff, but not nearly to as satisfying of a degree. Nor with this level of reward. They're just seeing these fractals alone are kind of nuts. It'll make it real easy for me to make thumbnails of this game. I didn't miss any puzzles. There was an area earlier where we had a bunch of trees locked behind glass cases. Well, no, the glass birds cases. were locked in the cases. Though. You're right, there were also birds and some other things. Like, I, di I distinctly remember some spots. But maybe those were never meant to be undone. Maybe. Even rainbow tree? And there's some birds. Or that stuff is part of the hub world, so we're going back. I don't know. It was the point where uh, I was getting snitty about the streamer blindness. I don't think we're going back there. That feels very far away at this point. One way or another. I'm going back there. Huh. Wild. The game is fairly straightforward. Would have fooled me. Wow, you're right. I am going back there now. I'm going back there right now. Back to the start? No, this room. This is the room that I felt like oh. I skipped. That was one oh. hell of a long jaunt to get back here. Well, I suppose you have multiple portals to unlock this one door. So you got one cube. That means there's going to be another puzzle and another Yeah, so I got to go through cube. that door, which will output in here and... Ha! Oh, you don't have the bridge. Yeah, I have to go through that door. 
I don't know where that's going to take me. But we got to activate the bridge from inside that room. Hmm. Oh, there's a button. Yep. Whoa. Well. I'm just screwing around at this point. <laughs> Is that a platform that moves? Oh, it's water. Oh. And it wants a cube to go on it? Ah, it grows another tree. Yeah, it grows a second tree. It blocks the water. Well, this gives me a lot of extra cubes to play around with. Let's check the source first. Ah. Pretty fountain. Very pretty fountain. I like how they've handled the water. Let's see, I put this on par with the port uh, on par with the portal series. It's amazing. The puzzles are definitely really good. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Why can I do that? Will orientation ever be required for something? Maybe, yeah. Notice how two of these are connected? Mm-hmm. Two, two of these are not? That might actually be important. Or I'm overthinking things. I'm not sure. The motion sickness is starting to hit me real hard. Luckily, we're hitting the oh, end of our time anyway. I think the line goes to the structure, or what? Hmm. Ah, it's a wheel, a water wheel. Unless... The water needs to be spun at some point. Oh yeah, you can change the water's direction. Yeah. That's what the flow is supposed to be. Oh, that stops the water, so it'll need to keep the water. Yep. Yeah. Can you make it go through the water wheel? Yep. There you go. There we go. Power. Inventive. Weird. Okay. Uh, so what is that? It's unlocking so something below. That powered... It powered this. Oh, that. Green. More water. Yep. Nab it. Can you pluck any more? Oh, hold up. Ah. I just have to not, not be wasteful with the resources that I'm given. Yeah, so my opinion of this game, if this had some kind of interesting narration for it, I could absolutely agree with the whole portal thing. The puzzles are incredible, but losing out on the plot and style points from like a GLaDOS or GLaDOS type NPC really does count for a lot when it comes to presentation. And this is supposed to be quiet and ponderous and such, but... Yeah. Which I think works fine if, for me. If they had to work with a plot, though, you'd have to worry about there being a rhyme and reason for everything. Oh, so are you going to have to put that around the corner on the other side? Maybe, possibly, yeah. What is that powering, at the very least? So we need oh, to get both tree. of these water wheels going. Oh, there's another tree spot. Oh, you're right. Okay, so... Tree spot two. But we need to have another cube without cutting everything off. Ah. Oh, is there another fruit that you never plucked? Yeah, it looks like it. That's good. I'm going to screw with how water works in this universe. We. Oh, 
Oh, you know why I had another fruit? Mm -hmm. It's because I had planted that one. Ah. So if I go back for this, I'll grab it. Every time you plant a new tree, a new fruit yeah, springs cause, forth? Yeah, because the, the block is considered consumed. Yeah, And is right. therefore replaced. So now we need to find... Yeah, a way to get that water going around. Generally fairly easy peasy. Check this tree out. Yeah, it has plenty of fruit. Yeah, it's loaded with fruit. Whoa, that's falling into the sky. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because the, um... <laughs> that's amusing. Uh... The, the waterfall is... Is oh, whoops! Oh no! The waterfall is landing. Uh, I guess you get a bird's eye view. Where it's pouring see. off. Yeah, that's that's a really trippy effect. I love it. There, got there we go. Here's moving, and yes, the green. It feels like I'm missing things here. Whoa. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. So if this is water flows and tree growth, what was the previous one again? Balls. Balls. Just Moving them around balls. Track. <laughs> there. I feel like this should be harder than I'm making it, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure how much I'm breaking things by, like, just diving off cliffs and just warping around. I, it's absolutely designed for, but it feels like it's too easy by doing so. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Green is such a calming color. I am really digging these puzzle games. All those towers emerging forth. And other colors, too. There's a lot of red coming in. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It it's extruding, yeah, towers. So, for people that have played this, how long is this game? Well, considering you went through one round of assembling all the lasers and then this is the second round of assembling lasers hmm. I yeah. wonder how many rounds of assembling lasers yeah because like with some games you can absolutely tell how far away are you and this is one of those games that like could just exist in, perpet uh, in oh. perpetuity well maybe look at this this is green laser we made it too hard uh, to find the solution, it would just frustrate people. I, Bobas, you seem to have no qualms about that. Bobas, you was nuts. I liked it, but it was definitely the kind of game that you get stuck on. Whereas this is kind of one of those where you look at it for a little while and you're like, oh, I get it. It's like a request for us to go back to that game. It's just demoralizing. I don't like getting stuck for too long, because it's just kind of like... Yay. Okay. Ooh, that's a large tree, too. Yeah, I think we... that's That's that the one that we just grew? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh yeah, because this is just... Where we are, but rotated 90 degrees. Oh, water again. Except the water is still. It's not flowing. <laughs> oh, there's green. Oh, that's where it's from. The fountain. Oh, right. So unless you're on the green level, the water freezes. Interesting. I don't think the water freezes. I think so. 
I think the water keeps flowing. I just have to move it accordingly. Move on the, on the other wall. And you'll see. I'm just assuming... Let, let me just make wall? baseless assumptions for a second. Oh, okay. See, the water stopped. Huh. Okay, well, one way or another, what I need to do is get a blue cube in a position to water something. Oh, but you need a blue cube Wait, hold over up. there. And I that, solved the puzzle. Yeah, so you just need to freeze the water and get the blue cube over. Yeah, so I solved the puzzle just by, like, wild assumptions. See? Mm-hmm. I'm doing fine. Yeah, but I told you the water would freeze, too. It's truth. You, you just happened to set it up without taking that into account. Yeah. <laughs> Some, sometimes it's kind of fun for me to just be like, what if I did something and it works? Hmm. There's an awful lot of blocks on this tree. Yeah, tons of blocks on this tree. Uh, oh, is it a maze of... The water. It's a water maze. There we go. Oh, well, yeah, go figure there's a lot of water blocks in here. We have to, we have to root all of this through. Mm -hmm. Through warp maze. I wonder how they map things like this. Question. You Cannot go upstairs. No. Damn it. I was really hoping for some, some seriously physics-defying water here. Oh, I'm digging the soundtrack. Coming. Mm -hmm. Very. Ah, there's the water wheel. I know you liked that ocean game we were playing earlier, but I think this is immediately more engaging for me, just because I'm not just watching dialogue. True. I just wish that there were, uh, like there you said before, story. characters. Yeah. In the story. True. It would actually be kind of amusing if there was, like, a mad architect just yelling weird stuff at you. Uh, uh, uh. So you need to freeze... I need to find a productive use of water. Oh, wait. Aren't there a bunch of gears down there? There yep. are... Oh, there, so no. You know what? Actually, wheel. the productive use of water is actually on the other side. Um, Here, we can go around. Mm -hmm. See those there? Yeah. So we actually have to get the hard light bridge going first. Oh, hold up. There's just stair stairs going up to the top. Yeah. I feel silly. How many... Of those do you have, though? I think only the one. Uh, no, I I got another. Oh, you mean cannibalize the ones that you would use to get into those other yep. worlds in the first I never, place? I, I don't need to go back here. Oop. Problem sealed. The truly tragic part of things is, like, I always feel like puzzle games like this always do uh, the worst. I think it's because people probably prefer to experience them for themselves. Kind of, yeah. There's not as much, like, rewatch potential. And as I've voiced before, most people that do rewatch uh, puzzle games are usually just like, how dare you miss that obvious thing? But it's not obvious. Mm. So now we've escaped that whole business. Oop. Yeah, water. Ah, and another wheel. Oh. Yeah. Her. Hmm. There's nothing down here but the, but Satan's butt crack. <laughs> Okay. Well, what's 
But yeah, what is through here? Ah, oh. that's how you were able to get the water to the other side. Maybe? Well, we can't send it upstairs, so... But we can send it downstairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fun. I'm liking these water physics puzzles. They're... Wait. There we go. Is this door open? But yeah, I think one of the things that I'm really appreciating about this game is the pacing is very even. We've gotten stuck for maybe like 30 seconds, tops. And otherwise, I've just been zipping through this game at a kind of breakneck speed. Which I think that's really important about puzzle games, where it's just like. You know, people obviously have brought up Antichamber and Portal, and both of those are games that... Antichamber, I feel like I get stuck in more. Um. Whereas in Portal, eventually you start to see the solutions before you even do trial and error. Yeah, you just start doing the room, and you're like, oh, I get it. Oh. Force field of some sort? Sort of. Which allows purple it to go down. converted it into a different type of block. Did you just drop that purple cube back? I think I need to go get another cube. Yeah, not this one. Because we have ah, two. Ah, there are two. Yeah. So we turn this one purple. And then we turn it back orange. And then we abscond. And we're good. Hello. Where does this go? Oh, do you need to go there? Yeah, that's where there's a platform. Yeah, it looks like it. Well. Man, this reminds me of Control. Mm -hmm. The, like, the door locks uh, between the different regions in the oldest house. Oh, we should go back to that at some point and play the DLC a little bit. Yeah, I suppose they would have more content. Yep. Plus a couple of side quests that we never touched. I'm not sure how passionate I am about, like, immediately doing everything, but it's kind of like, new content is interesting. You aren't going to continue passing through the doors? I... Uh, doors? I think this is the door. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Red button. Having this sort of power in real life would be interesting, but I feel like I'd screw up and just fall into space. And that would just be the end of it. Oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. I mean, the world probably wouldn't Escher like this. Yeah. I couldn't imagine living in something like this or how people would navigate it. Yeah, I feel like you would lose people badly. So we need a red block. Oh, and there's a also green. Block. Or is it blue? It's. Uh, wait, hold up. Yeah, look at the ceiling. Oh. Maybe it is blue. Because there's a standalone. And then there's one side. And then there's side. a double one. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, getting to that is going to take walking that I'm not actually willing to commit to at this point. My arms are starting to get a little tired. That's understandable. And I'm good, starting to get a little tired. But I did have a good time. This is a neat game. So, if you save, will it just Yeah, I, I'm sure it'll here? save me. Hmm. Where does this plonk me? You can't jump, though. No, can't. 
I can get on top of it, but I have no idea. It would be interesting to play. I... We... You don't remember it that well, but, uh, Blam. Ah, here we go. Here's the... Here's the blue-red. We watched the Blam movie. Blam? Yeah, B-L-A-M-E, exclamation mark. It was with the robot guy that had the the super gun arm. That, well, it was like a, a super gun that could effectively destroy freaking everything. Um, And he lived in a giant labyrinth, and there were a bunch of people running around in, like, kind of sci-fi-ish armor scavenging batteries. But there was, like, an... Was this live action? No. It was 3D animated on Netflix. I don't even remember it. Um, he had like food cubes that he delivered to the colony and he put like in a water trough and it like expanded and it fed them for like a while and then eh. was this an anime yeah oh, okay I remember it vaguely now yeah it's really anime did the, didn't they have to go out on some mission to find more of the food cubes uh no the people are out to gather batteries or something in the very beginning and that's how they found the main character because he saved them yeah and then, like, effectively robot inquisitors found their town and came to kill everybody. But the entire point of uh, Blam is that everybody lives in this giant robotic labyrinth uh, right. in the ruins of the old world. Mm -hmm. um, and I honestly don't remember too much about the plot just Didn't because... did it end on a cliffhanger? It sort of ended on a cliffhanger where he saved everybody and got them to one of the levels where, like, the, the robot inquisitors would not go for whatever reason. And that kind of became a, uh, a a paradise for them, because you know they were at least safe, and I think there was food and some other stuff. Um, but a lot of people died along the way. Oh, absolutely! But like, I could absolutely see a a game set kind of like this, but you have like robots hunting you down, and you have to like go gather supplies and whatnot, all the while like running through crazy Escher puzzle rooms, mm -hmm. and. So on and so forth. I don't know. Yeah, Skynet takes over Coruscant. That is weirdly apropos, considering everything. But yeah. Uh, actually, so, before we go, I might as well mention a couple other games kind of similar to this one. Obviously, Antichamber, Portal, and whatnot. Uh, it's like a hint of, like, a line there. Mm -hmm. Repeated, and I wonder if it's supposed to be me. Probably not. I'm just seeing it repeatedly. I think that might actually supposed to be me eh, maybe not i have no idea what it's supposed to be one way or another um so antechamber obviously portal uh there's another game with kind of the similar infinite architecture feeling called echo that's more of a like stealth horror game but it evokes a very similar feeling for at least the first half of the game second half of the game is like oh my god please stop killing me i just want to be done with this um yeah, but the scale and scope of this game just seems... Nuts! I love yeah, it. Yeah, immense. And I, I do like the colors and what mechanics they've introduced slowly over time. Everything from the cube fruit to the way that they can manipulate water and other objects in the area. So, yeah. But I am feeling kind of sick and very tired. This is a very meditative game, which is good and worked for a while. But now I need some rest. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.